Hello everyone and welcome back! Today I'm going to walk you through how we make our pumpkin goddess soaps just in time for fall. Here we have our pumpkin puree that I purchased at the store. While the puree is being added at room temperature, the oils and the lye water are going to be mixed together at 110 degrees Fahrenheit. The oils I'm using were bought from Brambleberry. They are a combination of coconut oil, palm oil, olive oil, canola oil, and vitamin E. I calculated the amount of puree I needed by dividing the amount of water originally used in the recipe. I started with 10 ounces of water to 5 ounces of lye. Dividing the 10 and a half, I had 5 ounces of pumpkin puree, 5 ounces of water, and 5 ounces of lye by weight. Once everything is blended together, I add the finely ground oats and the honey. During this time, I'm going to blend the batch for an extra minute or two to ensure that it is at medium trace. Considering that I am not doing any fancy swirls or designs, and I'm just pouring straight into the mold, I want it a little bit thicker so that way when it does come time for me to design the top, I don't have to wait too long. Both the honey and the oats were purchased locally and are 100% organic. I personally grounded the oats myself. This next step is 100% very important to follow. If you are like me and you hate wasting any of your batter, especially the stuff that is inside the blender, it is very important that if you are going to scrape down the stick blender blade, make sure you are detaching the blade like I have done here. Remember how I said you needed to blend your mixture a little bit longer so you didn't have to wait so long? Well, I had to wait about 20 minutes for this to set up hard enough for me to put this design in. The design I did on top didn't turn out quite as I expected or wanted to, but it was cool enough that I left it. As for adding the oats on top, I probably should have stopped that right here. Finally, we made it 24 hours. Probably not actually, I think it was more like 16 to 18 hours. But now it's time to unmold my favorite part. At this time, I'm just cleaning up the edges so that way when I unmold it, I don't have to have uneven lines when I'm trying to, you know, trim the edges. You all know what I mean, right? Like, yeah? I love these molds that I bought off of Amazon. They're super easy to unmold. The soap doesn't stick to them. It's really easy to bend the mold over the soap so that way you're not denting the corners or scraping it with your nails as you're trying to pry it out. I love this silicone mold. Alrighty, it's cutting time. I feel like this is everyone's favorite part. I know it's my favorite part, especially when it's a more intricate design, but it's still relaxing to watch when it's just a single color bar. Alright, question time. Who is ready for fall and Thanksgiving and family time and turkey? 
Oh, I'm so hungry just thinking of it right now. Thank you so much for watching me make our pumpkin goddess soaps. You can pre-order now at the Wind and Rain Soap Co. Facebook page, which I will link in the description below. Also, don't forget to check us out on our Instagram page. We would love to hear from you guys, see comments and likes from everyone, and get to know you guys as much as we want you to know us. 